Welcome back, everybody. Welcome back to our live post-debate show. You know, going into tonight's debate, Donald Trump has been telling his voters and his supporters that the election is rigged. And yesterday, Trump held a rally in Green Bay, Wisconsin, which finally explains why he's been wearing that cheese head. And <laughs> he told the crowd about the most sinister rigging of all. More than 1.8 million deceased individuals right now are listed as voters. Oh, that's wonderful. Well, if they're going to vote for me, we'll think about it, right? But I have a feeling they're not going to vote for me. Of the 1.8 million, 1.8 million is voting for somebody else. Yes, if you believe Donald Trump, all the dead people are voting for Clinton. <laughs> and if you believe his claims about her health, she's one of them. <laughs> now, everyone, everyone, everyone who is not Donald Trump says that voter fraud is incredibly rare. In fact, a comprehensive study of votes cast since 2000 found that there were only 31 credible incidents of voter fraud out of 1 billion ballots cast. 31 in a billion. Coincidentally, also, Gary Johnson's odds of winning the presidency. <laughs> fight the good fight. Well, I wanted to find out if the dead really are voting. So I did what any journalist would do. I sacrificed an intern to the elder gods and reached through the veil of death to communicate with a 19th century voter. Please welcome, live via satellite, Horace McNulty. Mr. McNulty, thank you for joining us live via satellite. Very, very happy to be here, Stephen. Uh, but I am not technically live via satellite. Thank, thank you. you. <laughs> All right, good. So, uh, Horace, I hope we didn't take you away from anything important. Uh, no, no, I just uh, played a round of golf with uh, Marilyn Monroe and Julius Caesar. Really? Who, who won? Uh, no one. Uh, we each got 18 holes in one. Uh, heaven, it's just incredibly boring. <laughs> okay, so, uh, Horace, what do you make of Donald Trump's claims that the dead are all voting for Democrats? Well, I'm actually a, a lifelong Republican. Oh, so you support Trump? No, I, I'm a lifelong Republican. I'm a deathlong independent. I vote on the issues. Or like what issues? Uh, uh, Health care. If I had any, I'd still be alive. <laughs> oh, so you, you died from a preventable disease? Well, I don't know. Have they found a cure for sucked into a wheat thresher? <laughs> no. No, Horace is still working on it. The point is, I'm for Hillary all the way. So, okay. So Trump is right. The system is rigged. No, it, no, it's not rigged. It's just, you know, you look at the options. Gary Johnson, Jill Stein, they don't have a chance in hell. I know, because I've, I've got some friends down there. <laughs> Alan, enjoy the lake of fire, buddy. Shouldn't have pushed me in that wheat thresher, right? <laughs> I'm on TV! <laughs> so, let me get this straight. Trump does not appeal to you at all. Oh, sure, I, I love Trump on The Apprentice. But as president, no, oh, dear God. I mean, even in my day, we didn't treat women like that. Uh, and back then, a woman's best career option was dying in childbirth. Mm, yeah, yeah, it sounds like a rough time. So, so that's it. All the dead are voting for Hillary Clinton. Yes, indeed, we all are. Even Bernie Sanders. Hor <laughs> Horace. Horace, Bernie Sanders isn't dead. <laughs> right. Horace McNulty, everybody. We'll be right back with somebody completely dead.